Hi everyone. I had a great time at the Code Sprint yesterday. Um, I led a team on brainstorming different use cases for navigation simplification. Uh, shout out to the team members Joseph, Anamu, and Shane, as well as Karthik and Wayne for joining the discussion. So I guess here were some main takeaways from our session. So regarding internet accessibility for the visually impaired, we learned that actually a majority of accessibility issues stem from websites being built incorrectly. So for example, this may include buttons being modeled as links, images of text as links instead of text itself, or even divs being used instead of H1s. So these kinds of things make websites inaccessible, and I guess they're inherent to the way that the websites were built. And this brought up one really important issue about like a different chat interface for websites. If the website is inaccessible because it was built poorly, and then you implement something like this little chat interface, and then the website developers decide to fix the website so that it's accessible now, do you still really need like this chat interface to navigate the websites? And this brought us to our second issue, or the second main issue of why websites are inaccessible. A lot of websites are complex, such that when new students are learning how to use like screen readers, they're overwhelmed by how many things that you can do on a website. And I guess this is relevant not only to visually impaired users, but also users who are cognitively disabled or users who just don't want to be able to, or are kind of confused by like how complex these websites are. And in this type of like situation, something like a navigation simplification chat window would help, even if the website was technically accessible with a screen reader. So this brought us to, I guess, the second portion of what we discussed, and that was how can we take the web and kind of break it down into a couple things that people use the web for. So for example, what we thought of was the main reason why people use the web is to get information. A second thing is accomplishing a task. And a third thing is connecting with friends and family, so social media. So along the first one, just a little bit more information it's about learning, for example, learning about like a history subject. You want to go to websites and you want to like look at the content. For accomplishing a task, you want to book a flight, for example, and you don't really care about what's on the website besides the knowledge, besides the information that will help you book a flight. So after we discretize the web into these kind of three main categories, we discuss various solutions for kind of like a chat interface or like a navigation simplification interface. So on the first use case, on the information use case, one novel idea that we discussed was creating systems that could answer questions about the website. So kind of like a super powered control F or like a personal assistant kind of. So for example, one could ask, what is this page I'm looking at of? How many items are on this page? Or what are the titles of the first three articles on this page? And this type of interface would allow users to verbally skim web pages. And they can get a better sense of what can be accomplished and what they can learn on certain web pages. So this kind of stems from the fact that websites are visuals first. There's usually a visual hierarchy to websites. For example, text that is in the middle of the screen may be like an H1 in a large size, noting that it's the title of like an article, except for if you read it with a screen reader and there's text above and below, it kind of just reads it linearly and you don't really get the sense of what's important and what's not important. And because of this, you get a lot of scruff or stuff that you don't really want to be listening to. So being able to kind of ask questions to this interface and have it like tell you about websites gives you a way to, I guess, better navigate the information on a website. So on the use case of accomplishing a task, we discussed, for example, if the if your task was to book a plane ticket, do you even have to use the web? What if you could just book a plane ticket without even having to open up the internet? And I guess in the future, in the far future, if you just want to accomplish tasks and you can just tell like an assistant like Siri to do it, then hey, you don't need the internet. But I guess we're not at that point right now. So let's just take, for example, booking an appointment with a counselor. Instead of having to tab through all like the appointment times and everything, having an extra interface like this navigation simplification interface would be really helpful. So you can kind of ask, what times are available at, let's say, 2 p.m. tomorrow? And the little interface will figure out if there's times available, and if so, just 
tell you the times. And then you can just tell it to book you for that time. So for users of screen readers, instead of the alternative would be having to, having to tap through all the like times or like things in the schedule that are free before you can find one that like fits you in versus being able to just tell like a natural language using natural language to tell like an interface to just find a time for you so these kinds of like tasks we think are the most important for something like this navigation simplification interface because it can accomplish tasks much quicker and more accessibly than current like many current internet web internet interfaces. So we also discussed, however, a lot of the times people memorize certain keystrokes. So for example, I brought up Wells Fargo and Kartik brought up, he have, he's already memorized how to log in and how to accomplish certain things such as getting his bank account number. So in this kind of situation, would this interface just be used once like while you're learning a website and then next time you come, you don't need it at all because you've memorized how to use the website? So we discussed this kind of situation and we thought if you memorize let's say a sequence of five or six clicks what if we could just learn that sequence of clicks and then automate that into like a workflow where you only need one click now so let's say you want to log in and go to your bank account on Wells Fargo instead of having to memorize the five or six clicks you just tell it after it learns after the interface learns through like that sequence of five or six clicks what you want to do and you just tell it how to and you just tell it you want to do that like task and it'll be able to do it in like one click. So I guess like in that kind of situation, this little interface would also be helpful. So we also discussed some related works um, such as site queues, um, S-I-T-E-Q-U-E-S. So this is software as a service that actually provides tools for websites such as the ability to zoom, speech, and reading enhancements, and even personal settings to make websites more accessible. And we discussed this as kind of the current paradigm on how to make websites that, inter that are inaccessible accessible. So many websites pay companies like SiteQs to integrate their software so that their website's accessible. But instead of paying a vendor like SiteQs, what if you could, I guess, integrate something like this navigation simplification like interface so that your website's accessible and I guess at a much lower cost. So I guess we had a lot of talk about and I guess hopefully I'll be writing all this up and maybe like a medium post so that we can share it with you all and have even more information on what we did like discussed. And thank you guys so much for the time and thank you Benetech for putting this together. I really had a great time speaking to some really amazing people yesterday and I wish I could have come today. So I guess I'm going to close now, but if you guys are interested in what we're working on, um, this little agent per se, I'd love for you guys to follow us at include.ai. Um, I guess that's the website, https colon slash slash include.ai. Um, and I'd love to connect with you guys. Uh, you can just leave your email there and I'll reach out. Thank you.